welcome back. We just killed one of the first gang leaders, White Chopper. Kalok is dead. White Chapel is no longer in the hands of the Blighters. You now have the chance to join our ranks. We welcome all who would stand up to Steric and his cutthroats. I, you bastard, I'd rather throw myself to the tracks than run Bertha another mile for that dirty fall by. Kaylock? He's left the station. Mel, hello, fancy pants. And who may you I'm Evie Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I won't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. Then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hide out on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you were greeny. Every just needs time to think. So we've had the initiate knuckles, we've done the initiate cane sword, now we're on the ivory cutry. Nothing says sophistication like an ivory hilt nowadays, you'd have to buy something like this on the black market, but here it is at your fingertips. Some database entries, some people, allies, Agnes McBean, she's a cheerful old lady, or young lady, date of birth is the 5th of January 1815, 
daughter to a homemaker and an iron worker. Agnes McBean was born in Gar Garnkirk, Scotland, the eldest of six. Agnes quickly grew into her robust, outspoken character, bossing her younger siblings about and giving her parents a run for their money. In 1831, Scotland began construction of its very own railway system, the Garnkirk and Glasgow lines. Her father, Mungo McBean, being an expert in the field, was sent to work in the rail yards. Aspiring to be more like her father, Agnes learned what she could about trains and how they worked and, and hoped to one day follow in Mungo's, Mungo's footsteps. Three years later, Agnes had her chance Mungo's sudden ill health coincided with the merging of the Scottish and English rail lines, though it would take an imaginative conspiracy theorist to link the two, and Agnes, for the benefit her family took, took her father's place inside his locomotive. More, un more unusually, however, and to speed the transition, she took on his identity as well. Two years later, Following an incident, Agnes was discovered to be a woman and in punishment transferred to Stark Industries. There, she was placed under the employment of the cruel Whitechapel gang leader Rexford Kaylock and her train in his illegal service. In 1868, her train dubbed Bertha was hijacked by assassin twins Jacob and Every Fry, right where we are. Bargaining with them for their assistance in getting better work conditions for herself and her peers, she offered her services. 